Hello and welcome back to Crash Star Gaming. It has been quite a while since I've actually played this, but during that time skip, hey, the Master Quest DLC came out, and with that, so did Epona. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, cutscene time. Link and his troops stepped through one of the portals, appearing in an era of fantastic. They came to a land that was kind of iffy in between the middle of. Hey, it's really good to. Wow, this is. Terrible as shit. The first new arrival. Overrun with monsters, the floating island faced imminent and the imminent fury of Ego Raptor. Outnumbered, Link did not hesitate. He and his allies leapt into the fray to save Skyloft from disaster. Okay, so now we're in Skyward Sword with our trusty steed Epona, who took a while to be DLC. Anyway, uh, yeah, there is a reason why... Oh, I like this theme. Anyway, there's a reason why I kind of haven't been playing. A lot of crap has happened. Most specifically, Bayonetta 2 came out, so that took up a lot of my time. Anyway, hey look! Dark... <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize this. Apparently playing as Dark Link also makes Epona Dark Epona. So that's cool. He's the hero of light, Dark Link. The only one who can stop the evil. Wow, I did not expect that. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, the Master Quest DLC came out. Um, which came with a bunch of different new costumes, especially for our main for, uh, for Lana and Sia. As well as a new campaign for Sia. We will do that after we finish the main campaign. Or a little earlier if people want me to, if people want to see that. Hopefully I'll finish the playthrough before the other DLC comes out, but who knows how this plays out. It's been a while since I've played this game, so forgive any incompetence here or there. But yeah, opponent's pretty cool. She runs pretty fast. It has a definitely a different move set from a regular Link. I know that sounds pretty odd. Oh look, it's that stupid clown minigame in the right hand corner. Oh boy, and I bet you can guess who's coming here now. Anyway, yeah, a lot of stuff has happened since the last time I've updated. Uh, let's see, Bayo 2 came out, YouTube started doing that whole 60 frames per second video, so that's cool. And apparently hell has frozen over because Maxwell Adams of the Freelance Astronauts has finally decided to upload something. Including a 4 hour, a four hour video of Mass Effect 3 footage. Which, hey, I'm, hey, more Freelance Astronaut stuff? That's, that's just fine with me. It's been a while, so I need to figure out how to do stuff. There we go. But anyway, Zelda! Oh, man. I still cannot get over the fact that playing as Dark Link gives you evil Epona. That's awesome. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Hang on. Oh, yeah. And pressing Y does the whole carrot up the horse butt thing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, the hero of Hyrule, Dark Link. Oh, dear God. Sophie, or Fi, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Please watch the Straw Hat Nose playthrough of the Skyward Sword. It's hilarious. And it also shows how much of a shit Fi is. However you pronounce this thing's name. Ugh. Her eyes are soulless, but my eyes are filled with evil and darkness and red blood rage. Uh, anyway. But hey, she actually serves a purpose in this game. She actually fights like a regular character. Or, she uses the form of the goddess sword, or the master sword's form to fight. It's kind of... I mean, this isn't exactly new sh territory in Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors. I think this happened in Warriors or Rochi. But anyway. Oh, and hey, get ready for Skyward Sword references. You remember Levius, for those who played Skyward Sword? Well, now we're using Pumpkin Soup to draw him out. So that's cool. Oh, the Knight Academy. Right, that's another thing. I hope we see Groose. Spoiler alert, we don't see Groose. Aww. And with that, the game is infinitely depressing. Oh, I forgot to mention, Girahim's here. He's a playable character. I haven't unlocked him yet, but hey. 
Yeah, so speaking of, uh, speaking of stuff I've done since the last time I uploaded, yeah, Bayonetta 2 came out as for the Wii U, and that game is fan freaking tastic. I'm gonna be talking about this, so please, if you don't want to hear Bayonetta 2, just turn down the volume and just watch the action go on. Bayonetta 2 is a is an amazing game. I love everything Platinum does. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, if this isn't apparent by now, Platinum actually released a couple cheat codes on their blog for uh, Wonderful 101, which is amazing. It's a secret cheat code that nobody found out until the release date of Bayonetta 2. It's awesome. And it lets you unlock all the secret characters in that game, which is great because the way you normally unlock them by regular means is nearly freaking impossible because that game... Kakuriga and special secret areas are bullshit, especially on 101 difficulty. I got about 94 out of the 101 medals that you can get in that game to unlock characters, but those last seven, Jesus. Uh. Oh, so there is Levius, the thunder, dra not the thunder dragon, the one of the legendary dragon god things. Oh. <laughs> Dirahim's face. Ugh. Wow, I've already killed 700 guys already. It is... Wow. Again, I... I'm used to more difficult fighting with Bayonetta. But this is cool, too. Alright, so now we gotta go kick Dirahim's ass. Anyway. Yeah, although Groose doesn't show up in this game, he... He does make some form of... There is some form of reference to him. That might already be apparent since this game's been out for a little while now. But whatever. Dark Link will save the day! I love the concept of evil fighting evil. I know it's just a skin, but come on, it's awesome. Just one bad guy fighting an even greater bad guy. Or a slightly equal bad guy. I'm back here. Um, yeah. Engage me in horse combat, fool. There we go. <laughs> I forgot what difficulty to put this on. I don't care. I might have put this on. I think I put this on hard. If I didn't, whatever. The only diff difference that uh, the difficulty makes is the. How much damage the enemies can take, and how many, how much yours can take. If I didn't put it on hard, I apologize for the, if that, if if that irks anybody. Anyway, moving on. Oh look, Volga's back. Oh, speaking of which, the Master Quest DLC, which came out as of now, which is why I'm able to use a Pona. Uh, besides Sia being a playable character and having her own DLC mission. You can actually also play as Volga or Wizro. Who, uh... Oh, you are a true warrior of Hyrule. Okay, cool. Uh, you can play as Wizro or Volga in free play mode. I don't think they have their own mission. I haven't gotten there. I haven't touched the DLC mission. I'm going to wait until I beat the actual... Until I get to the ending. So that way it'll be a secret for everybody who's watching this video. Oh, well, the frame rate crapped out on me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so getting back to uh, to the new to Maxwell Adams uploading his uh, new videos. They weren't really new videos. They were 60 FPS videos of the uh, new Super Mario Brothers playthrough, which was an amazing series, by the way. As well as that uh, four-hour-long Mass Effect 3 video. So I don't know what that exactly means. It means he's still doing stuff, I guess. Or at least he just worked off the whole 60 FPS thing now on YouTube. So that's cool. I kind of hope this means that the freelance astronauts might be having a reunion, or at least there's some form of hope in that regard. I know that's kind of... That's kind of hopeful thinking, but still. I love those guys. They were... You know, before the best friends, before the Game Grumps, before 
like Cutie Pie. I don't really watch Cutie Pie. Nothing against him. I just he's just not my brand of comedy. Uh, yeah, the freelance astronauts, along with Slow Beef and Diabetes and uh, Chip and Ironicus, they were they were kind of the quintessential funny Let's Play group. Oh man, I mean, I miss watching them. I watch their videos occasionally, kind of just as a means of, you know, just for nostalgia's sake, but, you know, oh well. But who knows, maybe they might come back, but I'm pretty sure they get their own uh, real jobs now. Oh well, still nice to see some uh, content being re- it's still nice to see some form of content that we didn't see on uh, YouTube. Anyway, so now it's time for Levius to push over another block. Yes, why don't you just keep doing- Why does this frickin' giant-ass dragon need pumpkin soup for every, like, frickin' task? Like, uh Not paying you to gold, Brick. You can do shit, you know. No, gotta feed him. Feed the dragon. What kind of lame-ass dragon eats soup? Now we can take on the Dragon Knight! But we already did. Proxy, I mean, we fought him before. And now we have our horrible demon horse. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not really using a different combat style. Hang on. One, two, boom, boom. Alright. I'm not exactly varying up very much. There's a stamp attack, there's... well... There we go! Suck it! Yeah, you love it! Although, to be fair, most Dynasty Warrior Warriors-esque games kind of rely on, like, button mashing, so it's not really... Oh, yeah! Eat the power of light darkness! Oh. Well, that one Moblin's gonna get it. That's for sure. That one Moblin will regret the day he decided to go against evil Dark Link. Yeah. Fuck you, Volga. Can you step up to my horse? I'm so tempted to make a look at my horse. Amazing horse joke from Weevil and Bob. I'm so... How impudent! If only I was at full strength! If only somebody had some pumpkin soup! Then maybe I might be able to kick his ass. Hmm... I wonder who could get me this soup to increase my strength. I wonder who... Fine, I'm freaking getting it. Jesus. Lazy ass dragon. Yeah, but right now, Volga is apparently acting like Lu Boo right now, and will kick the living shit out of me, so... Gotta go get that soup. See ya. I'm sure you guys can handle the Dragon Knight. Good luck, fuckers. Yeah! Varying combos, bitch! Alright. So, maybe if... Maybe if anybody actually gives a crap about watching it from me, maybe I might do some Bayonetta 2 videos. I've beaten it on, uh... On second climax, and I've beaten it... You know, it's kind of like a first run, and I've beaten it on, uh, third climax. I've got... The majority of my medals are either gold or platinum. I'm not nearly as good as Chip, but... And I'm probably not nearly as entertaining as Maximilian Dude, but hey, you know... I try. I can do somewhat good at character action games. I'd be wonderful one on one on its highest difficulty. Shut up. I am. I can do. I can play video games. I beat Devil May Cry 3 on normal and the original. I never touched 2 though. I understand that game is not great. Wow, you know I have nothing to fucking talk about a game when I move on to other video games. Oh boy, it's. Oh, didn't miss this. Didn't miss this character. Mmm, <laughs> yeah.
Yes, you like my genie pants, don't you? Ugh. Oh, yeah, Majora's Mask for the 3DS is coming out. That's a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come and get it. Come and get it. You want it? Come get it. Come get it. Gone fish. Okay. Fuck everything. Oh, shit. Pumpkin soup, bitch. That's gotta be embarrassing for Volga. That's kinda gotta be, like, super embarrassing. Like a dragon gets super powered from pumpkin soup, and then it just, like, zaps you with lightning. Or thunder, I'm sorry. Huh. Nerd. Is that divine intervention for you, bitch? How could you- That doesn't even make any sense. There was, like, pumpkin? Pumpkin what? Not doing that. Anyway, let's go kick Volga's ass now that he's been embarrassed by dragon lightning. I can talk where it's good. Out of my way, evil Link must save the day. There we go. I actually dig Epona. Wow, 2400 enemies. It's like a freaking massacre. It's a massacre at this point. 2500. It's a damn massacre. Blood for the blood god. Rupees for the rupee god. Fairies for the fairy... For the fairy throne. Whatever. I wonder what the moblins who survived the battle kill on to... Wow, this camera's not great. I apologize for this. I wonder what the moblins go on to- Oh, okay. I wonder what the moblins go on if they survive the battle. There was this guy, he was on a horse, and he just kept attacking us. He just slaughtered thousands of us. What did he say? Nothing! That's just it, he didn't say a thing! He was like some kind of mute mur murderer of the gods. Oh god, it was horrible. He just killed us by the hundreds. <laughs> and there was some stupid fairy and some weird sword girl thing. Yay! How drop! I should bring a little moment to. I can't read right now. To destroy them from inside! <laughs> Oh, okay, so Girahim just has mind control powers. Yeah, that's a thing he could do in Skyward Sword. Wait, let me think. No, he couldn't do that in Skyward Sword. I'm pretty sure he couldn't do that in fucking Skyward Sword. So why are you making it up? Oh, this is creepy. Whoa. Ooh. Is it weird that I found that very chilling? <laughs> Jesus. There goes that mute badass. Ooh. Oh, look! <laughs> oh, I didn't do it on hard, I apologize. What did I put it on? Oh no, I got too many sticks. There we go. Fuck it. Round arrow flow seal, Girahim sash, Volga's helmet, Moblin flank, arrow flow leather, whatever. Alright, what did I actually complete that on? Did I just put that on easy? Oh god. Oh, that's embarrassing. I am sorry. Ah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Alright, on the next episode of Crash Star Gaming, I'm gonna change back to regular Link because this next level is bullshit. But I'm gonna put it on hard. Sorry about that. Again, doesn't really change much. Just makes the enemies harder to kill. Alright, until then, I'm going to upload a lot more frequently. I apologize for the wait. Alright, see you then.